Moonbulls performing a massive bedtime bust all over the snoozing bears. Are the Moon Boys plotting their next big three pump disaster exactly like the June 20th eruption? Or are the boneless bears about to give the Moon Boys a secret twist right where it hurts? Right now, the Moon Boys have reclaimed 27,000 US dollars and have even inched and squinched up to 28,000 US dollars for the first time in an entire month. And this is pretty big for Bitcoin's price. And we have so many beautiful charts we're going to be looking at. As we just stated, Bitcoin fell below 28,000 back uh, on August 17th and really has, has not got anywhere near it except for one day back in August 28th. Other than that, uh, it's been well over a month that we've been anywhere near this price level for Bitcoin, which is kind of shocking, right? It doesn't feel like that long ago that we were at 30,000. But the last time we were concretely above 30,000 US dollars, you have to go back kind of far to the middle of summer, back in like July of this year. So we're going back almost three months since we've been around 30,000 US dollars. Needless to say, we've been, get, we've been getting completely dumped on. Um, but a few things, CryptoCon talking about Bitcoin's time clock or the bit time clock. October starting off amazing for Bitcoin right on schedule according to bit time. Recency bias now in full swing. He says here, look at the nasty lower high price created at the same time last cycle in October of 2019. But if the bit time model, which I'm assuming is his, is accurate this month, October will perform well just like in 2015, uh, living up to October. Very big. And now this is just the beginning. So also today we saw Grayscale filing a 19B4 to convert a $5 billion Ethereum private trust into an ETF. Uh, Grayscale didn't file this. It was New York Stock Exchange. And it would effectively put them in line with the other four to five Ether spot ETFs in line. But uh, what Eric Balkunas says here is we still don't know how the SEC will treat the ETF approval versus a private trust converting. Maybe the same, maybe it'll be different, who knows. Uh, let's be honest, as long as Gary Guzzler is uh, at the SEC, um, the dude is a little bit of a butthead, to be honest. And, uh, you know, to put it nicely, what a big, what a butthead. But Mag the Scalping Pro pointing this out. It seems like Bitcoin is going through a period of consolidation exactly like in 2016 and very similar to it. Back then, Bitcoin price stayed steady for a few months before it started to climb up and went vertical. And I remember this also back in 2019 into 2020 as well. Very similar things happening here. Every single, basically to sum, sum up my feeling on this, every single month that goes by at this point, you should be getting more and more excited. Um, I think within the next six months, there is going to be at least some sense of euphoria back in this market. And I mean that compared to what we're feeling now. Because realistically, Bitcoin is what? Pumped like $1,000, $1,500 in the last couple of days. And it's the most exciting thing to happen to Bitcoin in like three months. So what does that tell you? It tells you that nothing has happened and we're just getting the eensy, this teensiest little something, the tiniest little pump. And we're all going crazy because it's something, right? We've been deprived of gains. We've been deprived of getting pumped on for so long. And the, the best part is that once the actual pumping does start, this little $1,000, $2,000 gain on Bitcoin is nothing. Tens of thousands of dollars of price appreciation for Bitcoin. Um, 10, 20, 30 plus X's for altcoins. It's going to, we're going to feel spoiled. But I don't think we're going to see it just yet. But we're just getting the teensiest taste of it. Anyway, my point is you should be getting excited because even though I don't think we're about to get completely pumped on just yet, it gets closer with every single month. We are now about four months from, the, or sorry, about six months from the Bitcoin halving. Uh, I'm getting excited. Uh, especially after we've just been put through, we've been put through, uh, very, very bad price action for the past two years. It's very unlikely that the next two years are going to be bad. In fact, it's very likely these next two years are going to be life-changing um, to the point where our neurons and our dopamine receptors won't even give us pleasure anymore because we're about to get so much pleasure over the next two years. <laughs> wow. Uh, Titan of Crypto talking about this with the uptrend resuming. Bitcoin managed to close past the weekly candle above the trend following moving averages after a fake out to the downside. So trend following moving averages is this indicator Titan of Crypto is referring to here. We, we see we flipped into the red back in April of 2022. We initially flipped kind of greenish back in April of 2023, but now we're actually seeing price above it, uh, above 
this trend following moving average. And um, yeah, my opinion, every test we get about a back above or near 30K is big. It could be the one. That's how I'm viewing this. Every, every time we get closer to 30K, every time we touch 30K, it could be the one where we bust through 30K and we don't go below 30K. That's the one we're all waiting for. Stack Hodler on Twitter talking about the birth of Bitcoin as the new flight to safety. Uh, as the new flight to safety, global sovereign debt bubble is popping and US treasuries are no longer the go-to flight to safety. He's saying the market is beginning to value the fact that Bitcoin protects you from debasement and counterparty risk. We saw it a couple of months ago back in March of this year with the banking crisis as investors fled banks, right? And actually started literally depositing into Bitcoin. Um, but global bonds are nuking and Bitcoin is once again pumping as most other assets sell off. And people look at that narrative of people um, running from banks and going to Bitcoin as just like a fluke and that won't happen again. I think it's the exact opposite. I think we got a little taste of it, right? And then they, they propped up these banks that are just complete garbage anyway, right? To try and stem the bleeding. Uh, but ultimately, we got a little taste of what's to come. Very rarely do things ever just happen all at once. We get hints over months, over years, and tastes of what is actually happening in the financial markets before the big crash or the big pump. It's not always just once and then they're like a one and done type thing. I think what we saw was something very real, and I think that's gonna continue. You know, will it happen next month? I have no idea. Could, uh, will it happen eventually though? I would say absolutely. I would say without a shadow of a doubt. In my opinion, I think it's so obvious. Uh, Fiat Ponzi is a game of musical chairs. There are only 21 million chairs of Bitcoin, and the music appears to be slowing. And you can just see Bitcoin here compared to gold, the SPX, CBOE. Very beautiful, very nice. Um, and taking a look on Bitcoin's daily chart, this is huge. So we see Bitcoin actually breaching back above the 200 day moving average for the first time since, uh, wow, since falling through it back in August, middle of August. And we just got a bullish cross actually with this very big 21 going above the 50 day moving average on the daily chart. Very big. We're seeing momentum switch on this daily chart. Okay, so a lot of good short-term things for Bitcoin. This is a huge test for Bitcoin, however, because right now we're exactly at the 200-week moving average, which is this yellow line, right at about 28,200 right there. That's what we're testing right now. If we actually get a break above that, this could actually turn into a much bigger bust, but this is a big test. 28,000, if we can actually get, you know, push concretely above that can be a very big test. Weekly MACD is curving to the upside as well. Another interesting uh, thing to be looking at. Um, SPX is actually down today. DXY is up today. So why is Bitcoin doing good, right? Maybe a little a little hint, uh, a little bit of decoupling. See, the, see the XPX, or SPX actually falling below 4,300. Not great for the SPX. Um, so interesting that Bitcoin is actually performing as well it is, as it is right now when a lot of its um, correlated trading partners are not doing well, like the stock market. Um, with that being said, I mean, yeah, a lot of beautiful charts for Bitcoin right now. Breaking 28 is very big, especially on the weekly chart. Very big test there. And um, ultimately, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Bitcoin, I personally think if we're able to break above 28 uh, and then come back and hold 28, this could turn into a much longer rally. Again, giving us another attempt at trying to get above 30,000 US dollars. And take advantage of massive sign up and deposit bonuses if you're interested in trading. It takes 30 seconds to sign up with either Femex or BitGet in my description below. Uh, and as well, if you sign up with Femex using my link below, you earn free XPT when you trade anything uh, using my link. Without any further ado, it's free.